Now, a lot of people have pointed out that Luthen Rael has kyber crystals because he's either a former Jedi or he knew the Jedi or something like that. I mean, he's at the right age where he could have crossed paths with these defenders of the Republic, but because we know basically zero about his background, aside from the trinkets he seems to enjoy collecting, it's really hard to confirm any of these theories. What we do know about Luthen Rael is that he's an extremely intelligent individual. He's not a fake curator of artifacts and trinkets. He actually knows what he's talking about. It's a quality signet. Blue Kyber, Skystone, the ancient world, celebrates the uprising against the Rakatan invaders. He's also got some really cool pieces of Jedi and Sith history in his shop, like the suit of armor that kind of looks like Star Killers from Legends, or what about these holocrons on the shelf? He even has a Gungan energy shield, which might have been held at one point by one of the most powerful Dark Lords of them all. Now, during the Imperial period, Palpatine tried to wipe every sign of the Jedi from existence, and he did a really good job with it. Kid, I've flown from one side of this galaxy to the other. I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything to make me believe there's one all-powerful force controlling everything. Everything. I mean, even during the Republic era, not everyone was aware that the Jedi were around or that the Force even existed. So I think Luthen Rael is holding on to that kyber crystal simply because of his background. He's a student of history. He understands the rise and fall of the Sith Empire, the 10,000 year reign of the Republic, and what a huge part the Jedi played in it. While everyone else might have forgotten the Jedi's noble sacrifices for the galaxy, Luthen Rael has not. And that's why he values his kyber crystal at... Don't take less than 50,000 for it. Whereas Skeen values it at. Taking a stone worth 30,000 credits? If you have a problem, you come to me. 